Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here with one final card to share today using the February 2021 Kit of the Month. This time I'm doing a slimline card. I haven't done one of those, I don't think, for a Unity video yet. Um, I just love that fun, that girl with the umbrella there, and I thought it was a perfect fit for a slimline card. So I'm starting off with that image. I've already trimmed a panel of just some nice bright white watercolor paper uh, down to a slimline size. I believe I trimmed this to three and a half by eight and a half. Um, I'd have to double check that, but it, it's somewhere roughly around that size. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my Misty to stamp um, that image in place. I'm using some good water-friendly ink. This is Versafine Onyx Black and stamping a couple times to get a clear impression on the watercolor paper. And then I'm gonna use some distress inks and some water. This is a great uh, layering um, technique, perfect for when you just have time to let things dry between steps and just kind of work a little bit here and there. I'm using Salty Ocean Distress Ink and a blending brush there just to kind of blend a soft uh, edge around the outside. As it turns out, I ended up doing a second layer because um, I did the soft and then I just felt like it wasn't quite as bold as I wanted. So I did come in with more color. But once I've got that blended on, I misted some water to get that effect of the water over the ink blending. And then, like I said, I started looking at went, yeah, I think I need a little more color. So ink blending a second time over that first ink blending that's had the water on it, you can kind of see how it layers a little more texture with um, the water because it's blending on those areas that are softened up from the water before. So it's kind of like texture on top of texture. And I went a little closer to my image this time, even around the back edges, just a dab with that brush, being really careful as I blended not to go over my image at all. Same thing, mist it again with water and set it aside to dry. So you can see there's that great texture to that background now. And now we're gonna bump up that texture even a little bit more. I've got, this is a large raindrop stencil. It's from Simon Says Stamp. I kind of lined it up to where I was happy with where the raindrops fit around the image. And then I used a little bit of post-it tape to kind of mask off. I don't want any of those raindrops to be over the image. My original plan was just to keep the image black and white, but I did change my mind and um, color it in. So I'm glad I decided to mask it off so I didn't have color on that. I'm using some just glitter gel. This is Stickles Moon Dust. It's a great sparkly gel. It's kind of hard to see on the film, but um, also clean your work surface really quickly like I did there just to make sure it doesn't have time to dry. And you can kind of see that great shimmer and shine that that gives on that background. All right, while that dried, I went and cleaned my stencil off right away as well. All right, this is fully dried and at this point is where I decided I wanted a little bit of color on that image that I'd stamped on there. So I went with a good bright contrast to the blue. Um, something about blue just kind of fit like the idea of a cloudy stormy day and using yellow to color in the umbrella and just the dress. I didn't even color all of the details on the girl. I didn't color the skin or the hair or anything. I just went really simple with that bright pop of yellow just on the dress and the umbrella. I started off there with mustard seed and then I came in, um, as you see now, with fossilized amber to add a little bit of shading and shadow. Um, just kind of hitting where those dark areas would be on the dress and kind of adding that little bit of depth to the image. You can see I kept just smooshing a little bit more ink on my palette. Um, I'm using a glass mat, so any um, surface that you want to use to smoosh your inks onto works great. And then I went back a little bit to that squeeze lemonade just to kind of blend between the two colors a little to get a bit of a softer edge. So I still had that shading and shadow, but a little more of a graduated color between those two spots. All right, and then once I finished coloring this, I went ahead and set that aside and let it dry nice and thoroughly again. Like I said, lots of fun little steps to try here. Some of it you could speed up with a heat gun, but I always like the way it looks better when you let it naturally air dry. All right, I've got some good sturdy adhesive on the back of that. I'm gonna adhere it onto a card base that's just slightly larger than that panel. Um, and then I already heat embossed a sentiment from the kit as well on a bit of black cardstock. So I can just uh, pop that up with some foam adhesive on the background. That's why I didn't pop that whole panel up on my card base. I wanted just to pop that sentiment up with foam. And then as a final finishing touch for a little more texture and shine, I pulled out my glossy accents bottle and just put that on the umbrella. I love how that adds once it dries. That's just kind of showing it wet there, but you can see that great texture that it adds and a fun little dimensional element. All right, thanks so much for coming by today. Have a wonderful day.